What's up, guys? How we doing? We're down here at the Idol, which is a park down in Fountain Square, because we're doing a photo shoot with our man, Hunter the Punter Smith. You guys met Hunter yet? Does some cool photos for us. What's going on? Yeah, you know, creative extraordinaire. <laughs> yep. Hey guys, we're Jay walking with Jay here, downtown Indianapolis. There's a guitar. Is that my guitar right there? <laughs> guitar. The guitar? Oh, you mean Santana? Plays. Guitar, What's up, buddy. Plays music. <laughs> what a douche. Hello, welcome to another edition of uh, our vlog here, the Cease and Resist Layer. Today's feature: Sam the Crow Bauer. I thought he was Sam Spider Bauer. I thought it was Steady Sam. <laughs> well, whatever the <laughs> it is, it's Sam, folks. We could cuss, right? So, you know, the first time we jammed together, Sam, you pulled out your instrument and uh, the crow written right on right on the strap. Where'd Whoa. you get the crow moniker? Tell us. Well, it's a stupid college nickname. I think my freshman year, I was, it was the day after partying with some, some other friends that had an apartment. The uh, guy at the apartment said, you know, you look like some kind of scavenger, like a crow. And so all of my friend group that was there just started calling me crow, and it, it stuck. Well, I don't know what he is, but he's our bass player, folks, and we love him. All right, Sam, so tell us, how'd you get into music? Well, originally, my uh, uncle is also a musician. And when I was in first grade for Christmas, he gave me his original little uh, practice guitar, which it was a six string, but very small, almost like a parlor guitar. So, before you played bass, you love to play guitar. I know you still do. I hear you're a little bit of a telly man. Uh, I am a telly man because when I was in high school, I got exposed to guys like Roy Buchanan and Danny Gatton, a lot of the telemasters, uh, kind of under the radar guitarists. And I really liked how the telecaster is kind of like the, the working man's guitar. You really got to kind of struggle with it to get the sounds you want. So, there's no cheating. I mean, no a lot of people play Telecasters. Think about it. You have everyone from Bruce Springsteen to Tom Morello playing Telecasters. Like, you can get a lot of different sounds out of The them. boss. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm playing Reverend basses. I've got two of them. Uh, they were on my radar when I played guitar. Uh, I played a couple of music shops and really liked them, like their builds, like the craftsmanship on them. Just didn't get around to buying a guitar. When I was in the market for a, a decent bass, uh, I wanted to check them out, and I wound up getting their Mercalli, uh, which has two large humbucking pickups. I wanted to 
another decent backup, so I got their Reverend Decision Bass, which has a different pickup combination, but same neck and, and body shape. <laughs> We sure do love that fat tone that comes from them, don't we, boys? I mean, it's yeah. thick, yeah. Thick, two C's. We're just getting word. Our man on the street, Chandler, appears to be interviewing Sam, the crow, the spider, Steady Sam, Bauer, talking about guitars or some something or another. Let's see what he has to say. Well, as you could tell, he's got plenty of guitars. I think he may have a few more. And Dan. We'll start with the OG. This is the first telly I got. Uh, I got it back in 2006, and it's a Nashville telly, which for those at home means they stick a strap pickup right there in the middle. Wow. And a five position switch. Cool. I've also hot run it with a little humbucker here. What's up next? Let's go with the B bender. B bender. This is super unique. What's what's a B bender? Well, a B bender has a mechanism. If you look at the back here, where if you pull up on the strap, it bends the B string. Oh, thus the term. Wow. Why don't you give us a little demo? Sure. Another telly, this is the Richie Coxon uh, signature. It's made in Japan. Everyone knows Richie Coxon. He played with Mr. Big for a while. He's playing with the Winery Dogs right now. It's a real cool band. Uh, just a really well made instrument. <laughs> Well, enough about Sam. Let's talk about Jay, Without a Plan, tell me. Without a Plan, so it's a song I've had for a long time. I've had the verses uh, lyrically written for uh, a couple years now, and I've reworked them and added the chorus and extended a riff that really ties the song together. We play it as a band now, and it sounds really good. Check it out. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's vlog. Sam, what are your final thoughts? Well, I don't have a Latin quote this time. Thank goodness. But, in, you know, the past couple of weeks, we've lost some rock and roll heavyweights. Uh, Jeff Beck, as well as David Crosby now recently. Right. Yeah, tonight. Right? Um, That's crazy. Everyone listen to some of their stuff. Me, personally, I like Blow by Blow by Jeff Beck, especially Scatterbrain. And then, as far as David Crosby goes, obviously, you know, Deja Vu. By classic. Classic. Other than that, thanks everyone for tuning in. Glad you got to get to know me a little better, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next week.